Hello, my name is Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a wireless doorbell and this is a video doorbell by Glazing Shore. Now this one here I got from Amazon for £89.99 and ATP resolution, it has recording. So this one comes with a 32 gigabyte SD card. It has like motion detection. Once you have this connect to your Wi-Fi network, you should be able to view um, who is in, in your front door from anywhere in the world. Uh, two-way audio so you can actually speak to the person on uh, who ring the doorbell so those are the standard features so i'm going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like the setup process and once installed i'm going to show you some actual footage from the machine itself hopefully we never need to use the footage for any security reason but you know when um, when you have parcel theft or you know a doorstep theft then you want to know exactly what happened so you can report to your authorities so now when I have the video doorbell, if someone do deliver and press the doorbell and they don't follow my instruction in terms of leaving in a safe place, I can actually speak to them. So on my phone, it comes up as in a motion detected or someone ring the doorbell. And uh, I have a look at the phone and in case at home no one answered the doorbell, I just press a button and say, oi, leave it with my neighbor, for example. So it's quite useful. Uh, enough of talking about it, let's open it and have a look. Okay, so pretty standard packaging, it's nice and clean and it listed all the function on the side here, night vision I didn't um, mention. So 166 uh, degree of field of view, I think mine at the moment is 120, so this one can see a lot more. So out of the box, this is what you get, you've got your kind of installation manual. You've got your memory card with a SD card, kind of micro SD card adapter. You've got user menu. So this is the external door chime. So you plug it into your three pin wall socket and that's the actual camera. There we go. So you've got a button in the front here. You've got your PIR sensor, the camera itself and a microphone on the front. This is a mounting plate, which is pretty standard for this kind of um, doorbell. You also come with a uh, USB cable, a USB um, SD card converter, a tiny screwdriver, and some mounting gear for mounting this onto your wall or your door. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. So like I say, you got a button here, you got the speakerphone on the bottom. It's a plastic casing and I don't see much weatherproofing on this, so I'm not sure how weatherproof this is, but usually uh, at your front porch, if it is not under direct rain, then it should be okay. Um, gray color or kind of gun gunmetal gray, which kind of okay doesn't stands out that much. So at the back, the mounting plate kind of slide out, and this you end up with the doorbell and the mounting plate. Now usually what happens is you will screw this onto the wall or your door, and then you just hook this doorbell onto the mounting plate and then you have two tiny screw holes on the bottom to make sure that no one can remove this and um, if they remove it they usually have an alarm which tells them um, tell you that you know someone has been tampering with this Now, once you open the, once you undo that one screw holding the back plate, it reveals two batteries. Now, these are rechargeable batteries, and you recharge it by plugging into the micro USB port, which is at the back of the camera. So, if you install this without any power source, then you have to charge up the battery, hook it onto the door, and you use it until the phone notification tells you that it's running low on battery. Then you have to take the doorbell off charge it and then put it back on the door. How long will the battery last really depends on how often you get a alarm activation. I'm not going to set it up yet, so um, I'm going to make sure that the battery is out so it doesn't disturb me at the moment. This, this battery do last a long time, but also depends on how often you get alarm activation or how often the bell 
has been pressed and um, how how much you start to recording to the SD card throughout the day. For example, if you set it on continuous recording, then it use a bit more power. I can't say how long this will last unless I actually put it in test. You might not have that, then you have to rely on the battery, but that is the options available. Okay, so I've got the SD card here and I'm going to insert it into the doorbell. I never kind of be able to tell which way the SD card go in, so it's got 50-50 chance of getting it right. So once click, then I know that is actually in place. So download and install app by scanning the QR code as below. And this one, um, the software is Smart Life app. So I'm going to search and download from Play Store because I always think that it's a bit safer and it's by the company Tuya, T-U-Y-A. All right, so yes, I do have this app, but this app is not specifically for a doorbell. It's actually for some of my smart appliances. Okay, so go to Add Devices and then choose Video and Surveillance and then Smart Doorbell. So it says here, reset the device first, power on the device and make sure indicator is flashing quickly and prompt tone is heard. I think we've done that, so next. Select a 2.4 gigahertz, yes, so it will not work on a 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi. Now, most of the home Wi-Fi has dual band. Um, if you can't separate the two, then you're stuck. Uh, you do need to have a 2.4 Scan the QR code from 15 to 20 meters away. So what it means is it wants you to show the phone to the camera here. So receiving configuration information began to connect. The connection is successful. So it's pretty easy. You just tell the app what the Wi-Fi password is. It's so your code. You show the code to the doorbell camera and that's it. And that's, that's, that's all it is to add it to your system. Human body detected. So, it is, so it's pretty straightforward because um, it kind of automatically detects. So I can see on my phone right now what the camera is seeing. It's running really low on battery. So it only comes with like 10% battery. So I need to charge it up before I finish the rest of this video. But I can already see a high definition video feed on my phone. I think what happened is, um, I think as technology mature, there's no longer like uh, time consuming configuration and all that. All you need to do is just to scan a QR code, you know your Wi Fi password, and everything is set up. Okay, so the doorbell has been charged up to about 70% or 80% in the last like three hours. So it's about time that we can continue with this video. Um, it's already connected to uh, my phone or to the Wi Fi network. So now it's just a case of actually um, connecting to the chime as well. So at the moment, when you press the bell, so this one will ring and then obviously my, my phone will get a notification. And um, that's what is supposed to happen. So you say doorbell, um, you've got a light here to show you that someone have um, pressed the button. But in the house, you also need something like this. Um, so the chime itself, there is three buttons. So you got the um, kind of a sound button and then you got up and down button. So you use this to adjust the volume and the ring tone. Okay, so I think I'm going to choose between this one or this one because we are quite boring. We just want ding dong. On the second thought, I'm going to change the ringtone because 
If you miss the first two ding dong sound and that's it, there is no more reminder that the doorbell is actually ringing. So I like something which is a bit more continuous, at least like 15 seconds to 30 seconds. So I might have to choose something else. Okay, so managed to choose the uh, ringtone that I like and I paired it with my uh, doorbell. So whenever I press this, the chime is going to make that stupid noise, which is going to wake everyone up in the house if anyone is sleeping. So as you can see on my notification screen, it actually comes up with all the things which is happening right now. So someone, uh, when we were testing the ringtone, we ring the bell and then um, Smart Life will say human body detected. So a couple of things you can do, for example, you can talk to the doorbell. So if someone at the door and you want to talk to them, all you need to do is just press this button here. Hello? Who is there? To play back the messages, you all you need to do is just go to playback. And this is what we recorded earlier when we were connecting the f um, the doorbell to our wireless. And it's like a timeline. so. You just scroll through the timeline and then it will show you that in blue is where they are recording. And if you want to um, save the video, all you need to do is just press the record button. And it will automatically record what we are seeing on the phone. It shows you a little like a recording dial on the front to show you that we are recording when you finish. You take snapshot. So they're all saved into an album for you. So this is the recorded video. So if you're on the go and you recorded who is at the door. Detection. Human body filter is very important because um, it will f stop you from having all the false alarm from like branches moving and stuff like that. It's quite good actually I have to say. So far it's quite accurate. You got storage, remaining capacity. Offline notification is if your Wi-Fi gone down or uh, if the power is out, you're out of battery, it will tell you that the device is not working anymore. And that's it, very basic, but very easy to um, set up. So in terms of a field of view, um, it is kind of a wide angle. So I am about at arm's length away from the door. So I guess this is how usually a, a doorbell is mounted on the door and uh, for me I will press the button right here like this so if I'm delivering a parcel so I will come here and then I press the bell so if I'm holding a parcel Obviously it comes up on my phone, but I'm going to record this thing and then play back on the screen for you guys. So, if I go... Oh. So now this is like at the kind of the end of the driveway, I guess. Okay, so the next part is, um, how about the night vision? What does it look like in the dark? Let's turn off all the light. So this is a um, small test of the infrared. At the moment, this is pitch dark. Thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you find my video useful and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.